7th of August was our 30th anniversary. Our academy, we started the work 30 years back. White House is appointed and he has come in the midst of us taking the certificate of Lifetime Achievement Award to confer on me today on this day. It is a great, great privilege for us that today he has come here all the way from uh, United States. Not only that, he is also holding a very high prestigious position. He is also the High Commissioner of United Nations. He is also High Commissioner of United Nations and also our International Director of our Academy of Universal Global Peace. He is such a humble man, such a humble man, a great follower of Jesus Christ, a great follower of God, a peace-loving man, so humble man, you know, from from the office of Barack Obama and a high commissioner okay, of United Nations, a man of that stature, so simple, so humble. I really salute you for your humbleness. I salute you on behalf of all, all our academy family, all of us, we salute you. I would like to invite uh, our Professor Otto to share something from his heart. Thank you very much for... for uh for allowing me to be here. It's a pleasure and an honor to be here. Uh, uh, thank you for the hospitality. Uh, but I'm here to honor a great man. You know, that was the whole point of coming to India for me. Uh, someone who has sacrificed 30 years of his life for others. When there's so many problems in the world, oh, my apologies. Uh, when there's so many problems in the world, we cannot expect governments to do everything. Uh, and that is something that Dr. Marhu Krishan has done. He has taken the task, the big burden on his shoulders of making a difference, of, of helping those who need help, of preaching the word of Christ to help those people who need healing. And that is something that is praiseworthy and is something that he has done not only inside of India, but also in many other countries. Now, because of that, uh, the President of the United States has accepted the nomination of Dr. Madhu Krishan for one of the highest awards uh, awarded by the United States. And the name of this award, <laughs> and the name of this award is the President's Lifetime Achievement Award. Let's, let's understand what that means. Think about the name of the award. It is a lifetime. That means that it's something that is achieved over many, many years. It's not based on one act of kindness. It is based on an entire lifetime of effort, of sacrifice. And it is a big achievement. So this is not something that people earn in one day. It is something that marks the success of an entire lifetime. And the President of the United States, of the United States approved it two months ago. And we have a letter from the, from the president right here that with your permission I would like to read at this moment. So it says, the White House, Washington. Dear Dr. Madhu Krishan, congratulations on receiving the President's Volunteer Service Award. And thank you for helping to address the most pressing needs in your community and our country. In my inaugural address, I stated that we need a new era of responsibility a recognition on the part of every American that we have duties to ourselves, our nation, and the world. These are duties that we do not grudgingly accept, but rather seize gladly, firm in the knowledge that there is nothing so satisfying to the spirit than giving our all to a difficult task. Your volunteer service demonstrates the kind of commitment to your community that moves America a step closer to its great promise. Our nation faces the most challenging economic crisis in a lifetime. We will only renew America if we all work together. Individuals, the private sector, and government must combine efforts to make real and lasting change so that each person has the opportunity to fulfill his or her potential. While government can open more opportunities for us to serve our communities, it is up to each of us to seize those opportunities. Thank you for your devotion to service and for doing all you can to shape a better tomorrow for our great nation and the world. Barack Obama, President of the United States. Word 
of this award spreads quickly. The world is actually quite a small place, especially when Dr. Krishan travels so much, you know, and he's so busy. Uh, that word of his achievement reached Spain. And in Spain, the Royal Society of Armagers of Spain, which is under the Marquis of La Floresta, he's the private herald of the King of Spain, uh, also nominated him for another award. And let me read the letter that I just received from Spain. It says, Dr. Marjo Krishan, Chairman of the Academy of Universal Global Peace. Dear Dr. Krishan, it is my pleasure to write to you on behalf of the Royal Society of Armagers of Spain to commend and thank you for the many years of dedicated service you have devoted to the vitally important cause of world peace promotion. The leadership you have shown via the Academy of Universal Global Peace has inspired many others to understand and seek to support this highly critical mission in the service of humanity. In writing this letter, in my capacity as Vice Chancellor of the Royal Society, I would like to extend to you a solemn hand of friendship and intimate our sincere hope that an accord between the Academy of Universal Global Peace and the Royal Society of Armagers of Spain may be drafted and signed, attesting to the mutual recognition and respect that exists between our two learned and esteemed institutions. It is also my sincere pleasure to inform you, Dr. Krishan, that I have received a written nomination from an illustrious colleague proposing you for the Royal Society's high, highest honor, appointment as a distinguished member. The nomination will be put before and formally ratified at the next meeting of the Board of Officers. Again, on behalf of the Royal Society, I thank you for your dedicated service to the cause of world peace promotion and earnestly hope that you will be able to accept this honor of distinguished guest. I am your sincerely, Dr. Craig Patterson, Vice Chancellor. But Dr. Krishan, is a man who all, helps all faiths. He's also promoting interfaith dialogue. And because of that, I received another congratulations letter for him from a Muslim ruler, the Sultan of Sulu. So this letter comes from the, offer of the office of the Chancellor of the Royal Sultan of Sulu in the Philippines. Let me read the letter very quickly, because uh, I know you're tired. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So, dear Dr. Madhu Krishan, I would like to congratulate you on behalf of the Royal House of Sulu upon receiving the Presidential Award for your contributions, charitable work, and your ongoing commitment to society. A great award to a well-deserved individual. Sincerely yours, His Highness Datu Chong Min Lam of Sulu. Well, thank you very much for your attention and most importantly, congratulations for those graduates today for your very important day. Dr. Otto is also receiving a certificate of excellence and a token of our love and affection at the greatest trophy from the hands of our beloved chairman.